Uh, well, uh, the flag is up at the new, um, the new second palace here in East Houston. But already, I got a rant for you. Already, I got what my show is known for. Okay, besides the NFL pickup, that was the craziest season ever. Now, I, I mean, instead of just healing from a most expensive move from when, when I moved from Lamarck to uh, East Houston, and it would have been expensive for have I done the wait and save because then I wouldn't find out why I have in this lingering cough that I had since after uh, my last doctor appointment from Lamarck area on Groundhog Day. Okay. And and it seems to me that nobody is wanting me to get ahead, okay? It seems to me not anybody is caring about my problem. When I was supposed to be told at day program twice in front of the whole entire van that this, this so-called lady did not care about my back when I was standing up for myself and didn't want, want my back to be hurting all day at the group home. So, you all remember, where were you when AT&T had a problem where the, the entire morning, nobody couldn't use the phone, nobody couldn't uh, get on the internet unless you had Wi-Fi, Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I was in daycare, and before that lady turned on me, we was we was we was in unity because we didn't have our phone because we both was using cricket. Okay, so picture this: you were late for work, you were late for a doctor's appointment, okay, or you're waiting on the vehicle. And all of a sudden, oh, you can't get through to call the driver. How? Well, how are they going to know that so you could call whoever it is to tell that you're going to be late? Okay. Now, or here's another scary situation. Unless you have Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi calling, you can't even call 911. Okay, and it was hidden cities like Houston, Dallas, New York, Los Angeles. You name, you name it. It was, it was here. It was here. It was not only just AT and T. It was Cricket. I think it was Verizon. It was anyone that was using the AT and T servers that was affected. So there was a couple of theories that was happening on that day. One, the day before. Or the night before, it was a solar flare, and it it, it sent out, uh, I guess, powerful rays, and then it disrupted the uh, radio signal. But there was no way that it could uh, just wipe out the whole uh, uh, AT and T towers for the whole morning. Now we got it back in the afternoon, but then there was another problem. There was another problem, so it was time for my March payment to come 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 in. And I, or I was trying to pay my March payment before I even moved and before I went to uh, Sophia to start summer school. Okay. So I thought I had the payment because I had to do it for the offer. I tried to do it on the, on the app, not working. I had tried to do it on the um, website, not happening. I even got a card. It wouldn't, wouldn't, even, wouldn't even work online. Okay. So, okay, so I had to buy the, the, the card because nothing would even come on. Because when I tried to uh, pay with my debit card, it kept coming back. Okay. So with the gift card, see, I only had it on the gift card, all right? So now, mind you, they, they said that they charged $5 for help with the, uh, with the uh, payment of the bill. The problem is, we're the victims. And I guess they were still having ripple effects of the outage and then I was even told the same thing that they had ripple effects on the outage when, when it was time for people to pay now because I don't have ten dollars 
Okay. I don't even I don't even have sheets on my bed. I'm right now laying with my uh well, on my jacket to use as a blanket. I gotta wait to April to get the rest of the stuff that I need. April. I'm just barely glad that I still had money to go to the urgent care. I was gonna go today, but it was like uh uh it was like eighty something degrees that I don't wanna be, you know. To pass out. Oh my God! Why is that? I can't even get a break. My wife is up there saying, "Boy, what are they doing to my husband? You, did, he can't even catch a break. He can't even catch a break." And so now, something that wasn't even my fault. Now my service is disrupted, and then they want me to pay ten dollars that I don't even have. Ten freaking dollars that I don't even have because I had to buy I had to buy food because I had the lunch uh I had the uh the toast for lunch um thank God I was uh, I was fed before I before I moved thank God for that and then I waited to eat lunch for with the toast when I got settled in uh and then I had ordered pizza because that's the only thing I had to do because I didn't have anything for medicine. I mean, my God, help. This is ridiculous. So you mean to tell me that this must have got to be difficult? And thank God for the Wi-Fi calling because otherwise I wouldn't even. I, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. It's not my fault. We're the victims over here. We're the victims. And it's not fair that I had to lose service. It's not fair that I had to lose service all because I don't have 10 measly dollars when I had to survive the whole entire month. Okay? Now, it's good that I have rent pay, paid up for the entire month because, you know, I put the, the money in already even before I moved. But it's not okay that now, well, probably all I'm going to have to take is Florida. And I hope the order order East Houston was better than Sagittarius or Sagittarius, whatever the heck you pronounce it. But oh my God, this is terrible! This is terrible, absolutely insane. It's not my damn fault. Not my fault. You the one either had a solar flare issues or a hack. Solar flare or a hat, but AT and T will not tell us. Now we're 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 suffering because of that. We're suffering because of that. And the other operator that was supposed to call me was supposed to be fighting for me, never called me back. And now all of a sudden, I don't have service. Thank God for the Wi-Fi. Thank God that I missed that that I moved to a place with Wi-Fi and I could still do Wi-Fi calling. Some. Absolute nerve. There's got to be an investigation of what happened on that day. There's got to be an investigation why ATT could get help, but not cricket. Okay, we're customers too. We're using their Wi Fi. I mean, no, not Wi Fi. We're using their tower. And it's not fair that people like us who, who, who had to get help from the operator and maybe somebody might not even have the $10 for, um, to pay them. This is a total, total disgrace. And again, it's not my fault.